Welcome back guys. Um, after yesterday's video, I got a lot of questions on the uh, Compton <clears throat> configuration file. And so <clears throat> I thought I'd do a quick video just to go through the steps. And I will paste the uh, configuration file into the show notes so that you guys can use the same file if you like. Uh, the file that I have has worked on uh, every Linux distribution I've tried it on including with uh, Intel graphics and NVIDIA. So it's kind of a, a good um, all-around configuration file. It also helps with um, it helps with shadows. For example, if I'm not running this file, uh, you see this um, Synapse? Okay, if I'm not running this, the, the Compton configuration file, this uh, actually looks to be a full black block. Um, it doesn't show as uh, nicely as this. It doesn't show the way it's supposed to. Everything clears up. All the problems with um, how things look and screen tearing seem to go away with this Compton configuration file that I have. So I'm going to post it in the show notes. But the first thing I'd like to do is just to go over... Um, what the steps are okay so the first thing I would do if you're in uh, Arch you're going to uh, use Yawert for a Compton I do not believe that you can get it through Pac-Man but through Yawert you can get it and it's Yawert space dash S Compton and I'm not going to install it because I already have it but um, that's where you'll get it so I'm gonna say no to that and get out now if you're in um, Ubuntu or Debian it would be sudo apt get install Compton and then that'll pull it out of the repo okay so once you install it that is step one step two is to and I'm gonna pull up you're gonna take the file the Compton dot C O N F file and you're going to put it in your config folder. Now, in order to find that dot config folder, you have to enable hidden files. So you'll go to your file manager, view, show hidden files. When you, after you enable hidden files, if you click on your home folder, then you will find dot config. Okay, then you'll open up that and you'll paste in the file just as I have here. Now if I open the file, this is what the file looks like. And it's, again, it's, it's large, but I'm going to paste it um, as well as I can into the show notes. And so what you'll do is you will copy everything in the show notes from back end all the way down to this last semicolon and then you're gonna t you're gonna paste it into a file that you create called compton.conf select all copy paste Okay, so now it's in there. Save as. And what I would do is save it onto your desktop. Just to start off with. Compton.conf. Okay, so let's close out. 
So now that you have the file on your desktop, go down to your home folder, open up .config, which I have here, and then you're going to basically copy and paste it in. Okay? And once you do that, you'll have the file in the right location. So then you will reboot. Now the, the next thing you want to do is uh, you want to make sure that Compton starts up when you, when you boot your computer. So for XFCE, and you can find the equivalent um, in Mate, there is a startup applications on your, in, your, um, in your config files or in your settings menu. So if I go to XFCE and I go to, let's see, session and startup, auto start, you see how, how I have Compton there? And I'll show you what it looks like. Just Compton and the command is Compton. Everything else you need is in that configuration file. So that's all you need to do is put this into auto start. So now, once the file is in the right place, auto start is enabled, um, and Compton is installed, of course, then all you'll do is reboot. Once you reboot, you'll find that your screen tearing, because Compton has now been enabled with the parameters set in that configuration file, you'll find that your uh, screen tearing has more than likely been eliminated. So, uh, guys, I hope uh, that is uh, clear enough for you. If you have any questions, just post them in the comments. And as I said, I'm going to put that configuration file into the show notes. So that's it for this video, guys. Uh, take care, and I will see you soon. And don't forget, rate, comment, and subscribe. Take care, guys.